Well, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy and wonderful name. Bishop Ronnie Crudup here, Senior Pastor of New Horizon Church International here in Jackson, Mississippi, welcoming you to another edition of Wow, Wow, Wow Wednesday. And I'm so happy to have you here with us this evening because we're going to have a great, great time tonight. Listen, that is a word from the Lord, okay? That's a word from the Lord, and I know you're going to be tremendously blessed and touched by it. And so thank you. If you are with us for the very first time uh, tuning in, then first I want to say I'm thankful to God that God led you here uh, tonight to be with us because I know you're going to be touched and it's the will of God that you are with us. And so just prepare your heart to be able to receive because that's absolutely what's going to happen. But thank you so much from wherever it is that you are tuning in from. And would you put it in the chat? Put it in the chat where you are tuning in from, wherever in this country or the world that you live. And we'd like to know. And let's get a good dialogue going on. And uh, so we can make sure that this is not your last time uh, being with us. We appreciate each one of you. And to all of New Horizon out there, hey, I love you in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love every one of you and uh, friends all over the world. Thank God for you. Love you too. Just appreciate each one of you because uh, you make everything possible. Uh, your encouragement, your prayers, your financial gifts, it makes everything possible. And, uh, and I, I can't say enough uh, about that. So thank you so much for being here with us. I always want to take the opportunity to uh, invite everybody to come worship with us uh, any Sunday morning at 8 a.m. at uh, our main location here on Ellis Avenue. We have an eight o'clock worship service. We also have a worship service at our Rankin County campus, also at Grants Ferry Road, uh, 602 Grants Ferry Road in Rankin County, right off of uh, Lakeland Drive. That service starts at 10.30, okay? And so, hey, hopefully you can make uh, one of these on a given Sunday, and I know you will be uh, touched and no doubt you will be loved on by our people in whichever one you decide to come to, okay? So be uh, be mindful of that, and we appreciate it. Now, I want everybody to like and share. Let's go on to do this so we can get a lot more people involved. Like and share. Do that right now. Just go on, share it, like it, and then share it, okay? And uh, let's get a whole lot of more people in this uh, conversation tonight uh, so they too can uh, receive what you're going to receive because... That's going to be something powerful for every one of us to receive. So uh, get your hearts ready. Listen, I want to take the opportunity to wish all the graduates out there uh, just congratulations on your graduation uh, from high school, from college. Uh, you know, maybe that master's level degree, that doctorate. Uh, for all of the students out there, that's promotion, okay? You went from... Um, uh, middle school and now you're in high school or from elementary school into middle school whatever the promotion is I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you excited about you as well because education is one of those great blessings because education gives you options okay that's right education gives you options you don't have a lot of education you don't have a lot of options but when you got a good education what does it give you give you a lot of options and so we're excited about you and the blessings of the Lord upon you as well and uh, probably gonna pray for you too okay uh, tonight uh, as a part of all of this uh, once again uh, let's just act let's go to God right now and get it. father just bless our time together thank you so much for every person that is watching uh, just thank you for every person in New Horizon Church out there just uh, rejoice over them and our friends wherever they are in the world just thank you for them bless them thank you for those first time guests and visitors who are here with us. Bless them real, real good. And God, just bring people into this uh, this great family as our prayer and bless our time in a very special and powerful way. I wanna say this to you too, and then we're gonna go on and get into uh, the meat of our discussion for tonight, cause I'm gonna be singing something, okay? Great old hymn. Hopefully you've been enjoying these hymns, even though I don't declare to be the best singer, but. Scripture says make a joyful noise, okay? And so I enjoy doing that. And then we're going to get into a good word uh, for tonight. Um, 
I uh, want to encourage you first, if you haven't had an opportunity to go back and see some of these former programs that I've done, uh, I've dealt with a lot of things, okay? Everything from uh, the fact that the coronavirus is not the mark of the beast, okay? I still hear that from people, the mark of the beast, mark of the beast. I dealt with that. So you can go back a few weeks and you can you can find that that uh, that deals with 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 that whole issue you know I just uh, boy I just dealt with a whole lot of things that that I just know that you'll be tremendously blessed by and so be sure and go back and and check out some of these former programs uh, over the last few weeks because uh, uh, I just know that they will help you okay uh, significantly they they deal with questions and things of where the people of God are and so uh, you, you want to go back, okay? And uh, pick those things up and watch some of that just good stuff that is, uh, uh, that is there. Uh, and so, yeah, you're going to be blessed by it, okay? So thank God for every one of you. Now, once again, like and share. What? Like and share. That's right, like and share. Well, tonight, we're going to uh, uh, sing tonight. want to thank uh, my grandson. Uh, Allende is here tonight. He, he's my producer, okay? So thank God for uh, Allende. And uh, he used to be congratulated because he's one of those guys that's going from uh, middle school to high school next year. So congratulations to uh, Allende. That's a lot of joy in the crew household uh, at this point because Allende is going uh, to high school next year. And then his uh, oldest brother, his older brother, uh, is... Uh, and our first grandchild will graduate from high school. So a lot of joy, okay? Um, and so just a lot of good things. And, and with all of our eight grandchildren, tremendously blessed, okay? Now, tonight, the song that I'm going to sing tonight, boy, this is a great one, okay? Give me a clean heart. Wow. Yeah, give me a clean heart that I may serve thee. Lord, fix my heart that I may be used of thee. Lord, I'm not worthy of all these blessings, but Lord, give me a clean heart. And listen, if you like it, then uh, hey, sing with me, okay? Uh, as we go into this. Give me a clean heart so I may serve thee. Lord, fix my heart so that I may be used by thee. For I'm not worthy of all these blessings, give me a clean heart and I'll follow thee. Let's do that again. Give me a clean heart so I may serve thee. Lord, fix my heart so that I may be used by thee. For I'm not worthy of all these blessings, give me a clean heart and I'll follow thee. Listen to this verse. I'm not asking for the riches of the land. I'm not asking for high men to know my name. Lord, please give me a clean heart that I may fall 
Lord, thee, give me a clean heart, and I'll follow thee. I'm not asking for the riches of the land. What about you? I'm not asking for high men to know my name. Please, Lord, give me a clean heart that I may follow thee. Give me a clean heart and I'll follow thee. I'm up for sometimes and sometimes I'm down. Sometimes I'm almost level to the ground. Please give me, Lord, a clean heart that I may follow thee. Give me a clean heart and I follow thee. Give me a clean heart. So I may serve thee. Lord, fix my heart so that I may be used by thee. For I'm not worthy of all these blessings. Sings, give me a clean heart. Give me a clean heart. Give me a clean heart, and I'll follow. Wow, I'm tough on those I know, but Lord, give me a clean heart. Pray with me. Father, in the wonderful, the strong, the marvelous, the magnificent name of Jesus, who is the Christ, who is our Lord and Savior, who is the one that can cleanse our hearts. God, I come in his name that matchless name, that name which is above every name, that name like no other name on earth, the name by which we must be saved. We come in the name of Jesus. And God just standing in that name, we stand in that name, cleansed from our sins by that name, helped divinely by that name, Enabled, empowered by that name. Oh God, liberated, excited, woo, happy, joyful, ah, experiencing mm, just great emotions by that wonderful name. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this night. I'm like David. I was glad when they said unto me, let's go to the house of the Lord. And God, may you make everybody who is watching me tonight, maybe listening to, may you make them glad. May you touch them and make them glad, God. Because you're the one that, uh, Lord, makes us glad. And causes the joy of the Lord to be our strength. God bless your people. Bless everybody who is watching me tonight, I command the blessings of the Lord upon every person who is watching me. Oh yeah, God, let them feel that. Mm. I command the blessing of the Lord upon you right now in Jesus' name. 
touch every person in New Horizon, every friend, every regular, every person who watches us, God, often, even more, especially all those guests, touch them. Mm. In the name of Jesus. God, lay your hands on them powerfully and just excite, ignite them. Excite and ignite them, God. With a fire from you, with a passion from you even more. That God that just changes everything. God, I just command right now that every bit of depression is broken off of them right now. Every bit of sadness and hurt and pain in the name of Jesus is taken away at this moment. God, give them a, a supreme understanding that will help them deal with uh, tough circumstances that they may be in. Oh God, lighten their load right now. Just carry it and help them. God, somebody out there is in tremendous fear. God, just by your, your, your spirit and your presence right now, God, just help them right now because Lord, uh, you don't give us a spirit of fear but of love and power of a sound mind. So just touch them right now. Take their fear away. Then like David said, I, I don't have to fear any evil for you are with us, with them. And so touch them right now and help them right now, God, that their fear is taken away. In the name of Jesus, every bit of guilt and shame, God, is just uh, uh, delivered. They're delivered from it right now. Oh, God, even as they repent, yeah, just, just tell, oh, God, I'm God, I'm sorry. I'm Godly sorry for over what I've done. Forgive me. Oh God, just touch them. Cleanse them. Wash them by your blood. Make them new. Mm. Save that man or woman that needs to be saved right now. Oh, that person lifting and say, hey, that's me. God, yeah, receive it right now in Jesus' name. Just cry and say, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me for my sins. Master, save me. That's right, right now. Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me for my sins. Master, save me. That sincere cry will connect you to heaven right now in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now. It's yours. Claim it. Just get excited about it right now. It's your name. Even more, it's been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. God, just touch your people. Oh, God. God, just release your ideas. And uh, uh, God, just, just creative uh, ideas and and other things that works in business, that works in the church, that works at home. Oh God, just 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 begin to to ignite and excite. God, your people right now is just fresh, revelatory ideas begin to come that will and can be used in in monetary related issues and everything else, work related issues and whatever it is. God, that your people will be prospered by it right now. And so, just thank you for it right now. Somebody's been stumped and you just you, you felt like you were stuck and God says he unsticks you right now it's right you, you, you're, you're free right now God just begin to cause right now their mind just to begin to be refreshed and and uh, and just uh, uh, release that revelation of things whether it's a song whether it's a poem whether it's something they're supposed to be writing God whatever it is right now hmm. God has just come against any kind of uh, uh, Alzheimer's type circumstances. Can't remember, can't connect, just all those things. It just break into all of that right now, God, and just cause synapse to fire the way they're supposed to fire, brains to work the way they're supposed to work, God, memory to work the way it's supposed to work. God, just refresh them now in Jesus' wonderful name. Yeah, touch them right now. Oh, God, bless right now. Oh, I, I feel that blessing. Receive it, saints. In the strong name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you're connecting people to this church. I just feel that, too. There are people out there that uh, you, you just kind of out there. You don't know what you're supposed to do, but God says you're, we're connecting right now. Come on into this family, this household of faith. In the strong name of Jesus. Yeah, that this is a place you're supposed to be. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Some of you say, may not for help, but for this season. God says this is a place where you're supposed to be. Hallelujah. Because this is going to be good ground for you and a harvest is going to come to you because you're connected into this good ground because you sow into this good ground. You're going to receive a tremendous harvest. God, just uh, send that harvest even now, God. Just uh, bless them real, real good. 
Oh, God, just to get in that dream, speak to their hearts. Because, uh, God, you're doing a great and awesome thing. God, I just pray for the sick. I pray for people who are sick right now. Touch them right now. I pray for, for uh, uh, Raven uh, Levitt right now. Just touch Raven and just uh, uh, give us swift supernatural recovery. Thank you for just bringing her through uh, that surgery. Uh, oh, God, just speed that healing process uh, three times faster. Touch her now. Thank you for it right now. I just pray for Calandra Daniels. That's also uh, uh, going to be having surgery. So we pray for Calandra. God, just touch her now too and do that powerful work. Just bless doctors and nurses who will be ministering to her and give us swift supernatural recovery as well, God. Just do that thing. Touch her body. Uh, you know the circumstance. Touch her body. Help her right now. Oh, God, I thank you. And others in our congregation, God, we just thank you for all those folks where you've just been bringing people through. We've seen your hand. We've seen you do some awesome and powerful things. And God, I just pray that you would just uh, touch and bless even more. Oh, God, yeah. So just touch people who are sick. God, uh, family members of people in this church, just touch them right now. Do that awesome and powerful work like only you can do. Oh, God. I just pray for everybody on the, can't call those names, but everybody that's on our prayer list. We just lift every one of them up to you right now. And just your, 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 your touch and your hand uh, upon them. Thank you for that. I, hey, the Spirit of the Lord, uh, Yvonne, I pray for you right now. Just, just receive right now. In Jesus' wonderful name. Thank you, Lord, uh, for that now. Hallelujah. Carolyn, just receive right now. All you carolers, just receive right now. In, uh, uh, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Ooh, Jesus' name. Glory to God. Just receive right now. Yeah, hallelujah. All you Collins, just receive right now. In the name of Jesus. God just said, he said, call my name. Hey, all you Collins, receive right now. Whatever the circumstance is, receive it right now. All you Johnsons, in Jesus' name, receive right now. Hallelujah. Hey, if you're Johnson, receive right now. And Alan, if you are Alan, receive right now in the strong name of Jesus. That's right. Just receive right now if that's, uh, uh, if that's you. Hallelujah. Go, hey, you're Williams, receive right now in the strong name of Jesus. You are surely receive right now in the strong name and mighty name of Jesus. Oh, if you are a rucker or rucks, receive right now in the strong, he brought both of those, those names, a rucks or a rucker, receive right now in the wonderful name of Jesus right now. Oh God, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for that. Hallelujah. If you're a craft, receive right now in the strong and mighty name of uh, of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're Washington, receive right now in the mighty name of Jesus. If you're Bailey, receive right now. Woo! In the strong and mighty name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You're a Crockett, receive right now in the strong and marvelous name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, just bring these names. So just receive. Don't say, well, what? hey, just receive. Glory to God. I'm not trying to. I'm, I'm just saying what I hear, okay? And so if I don't call your name, listen, first, don't don't, don't get upset about that. I'm just, hey, God said to, to call these names. So I'm just doing it. I'm being obedient. You want me to be obedient, right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're an all right touch and receive right now. In the name of Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah, Woo. in Jesus' name. God, just thank you for all of these folks and, and everybody else that is, uh, uh, that's listening right now. In the name, you are Matthews, just receive right now in the strong name of Jesus. Thank you for that, God, even more. Bless your people real good. I pray for people who are dealing with bereavement-related issues. Comfort those folks like only you can, God. Oh, God, folks, that's in this season, bereavement, touch them and help them. Bless them like only you can do. And so, God, I just praise you for that, that you're doing that. God, just lay your hands up on your people and bless them. In Jesus' name. 
If you are healed, just receive right now in Jesus' name. You're in Edward, receive right now in Jesus' name. Wow, 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 that's a wow. Woo, wow, 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 in Jesus' wonderful name. Oh, God. Yeah, and for God, for every person say, me, Lord. Me, if that's you, if you just, for everybody who says, me, Lord, yeah, let them receive right now. God's just giving you a double portion. If that's you, say, yeah, Lord, I want to receive. God, release a double portion to them right now in the name of Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that's a wow. Receive it right now in Jesus' wonderful name. God, I just thank you for it. I thank you for the blessings that's been released to your people. Mm. God, I just love you. Just praise your wonderful name in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. And amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, some of y'all even think about some folks you need to get it here right now. Like and, and a share. Like and share. Send it over to them, okay? Like it and share it. We got some other folks. You say, oh, I need them in here. Like it and share it. Get them in on this. Listen, I want to call your uh, uh, attention uh, tonight to uh, the book of Matthew, the first book of the New Testament, the book of Matthew, chapter 18. In a moment, we're going to uh, we're going to begin reading at verse number eleven of uh, Matthew eighteen and verse eleven. Uh, but one of the things I want you to see, if you can see this a little bit, is I got a pen uh, that is here, and that little pen says "so glad." That's right. That little pen says "so glad," because uh, New Horizon and the Fellowship of International Churches. Uh, is actually having a big campaign, a big evangelistic campaign that we're doing across the month of June. And the campaign is called So Glad. Okay? Yeah. It's called So Glad. That's the name of the campaign. S-O-G-L-A-D. So Glad. And uh, we're just sharing with folks that we are so glad that we know Jesus Christ for ourselves. We're so glad that Jesus has come into our life. We're so glad that uh, Jesus is just having his way. We're so glad of all the wonderful things that he is doing and he is causing us to experience. We're so glad that we're never, ever alone. We are so glad that he walks with us, talks with us, tells us we're his own. And so we're doing this wonderful campaign called So Glad, because uh, uh, if for no other reason, brothers and sisters, I want to say to you, it's time. One of the things that the Lord said to me is that, that we're in a season that the pandemic has brought about this season of harvest. That's right. The pandemic has brought about this season of harvest and that the harvest is plenteous, but not only is the harvest plenteous, the harvest is white, ripe for the harvest. And so the Lord says, pray ye that he will send laborers into his harvest. And uh, we believe, hey, we know, we don't just believe it. We know that we're uh, a part of his laborers because God wants to bring in the harvest. And so uh, uh, we're looking forward across the month of June, especially to bring in a great, great harvest. And we've got 19 churches. Uh, that are participating with us, and we are so glad <laughs> about what's going to happen. Bless his wonderful name. So let me read the scripture to you. And uh, once again, Matthew chapter 18 and, uh, and verse number 11. Listen what Jesus is talking. He says, For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. Let me read that again. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, does he not leave the 99 and go to the mountain to seek the one that is straying? And if he should find it, assuredly, I say to you, he rejoices more over the sheep, over that sheep than over the 99 that did not go astray. Even so, it is it is not the will of your father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Hallelujah. The word of God. 
for the people of God. Listen, Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. And he came not only to seek and to save that which was lost, he left that also as honestly our primary uh, responsibility as well. That we as his disciples, uh, he brought us out of our darkness into the marvelous light. He sought us out while we were lost. He saved us once again from our lostness and damnation. And, um, and he brought us into this marvelous place uh, called salvation. And he has given to us <clears throat> the, uh, the wonderful ministry of reconciliation that we too now, what do we do? We seek and save that which is lost. He has given to us the wonderful privilege of sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ to let people know that you too can come out of your darkness. You can come out of your lostness and you can come to Jesus and be saved because there is nothing like salvation. There is nothing and nothing better. Hallelujah than salvation in Jesus Christ because it blesses you in the here and now and then after all of this is over, you go to heaven. Woo, that's a good thing. Listen, this great salvation causes you never to ever to be alone again. He will walk with you and talk with you as that old song says. He calls the angels of the Lord to head you about. He will be there so you don't have to fear for he will always be with you in this life, and then you inherit eternal life. All of that is a part of this great salvation. And the Lord, who is good, as we like to say, all the time, all the time the Lord is good, does so many wonderful things that you can't help but be what? So glad. So glad. And so we're doing this campaign <clears throat> and for everybody in New Horizon and friends, hey, we want you to be a part of this campaign. And what we're going to do across this month is we're going to share uh, our testimony. We're going to wear these pins. We want people to see these pins, glory to God, or a sticker or something that says so glad so they can ask us What's that all about? What, why are you so glad? Because then we can say to them, I'm glad that I know Jesus for myself. I'm glad that he saved me. I'm glad that he's in my life. I'm glad that I'm no longer what I used to be. Hallelujah. I'm glad that he is always there with me and he is changing me and making me better. And so that, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be sharing this, this testimony um, because of the wonderful things that he has done in our life. And so you, I, you get that. I, I sense already you can feel that because frankly, all, all we need is just an opening, okay? And the pen... Uh, the so glad pen once again becomes that great conversational piece that gives you and me the opportunity to share our experience, okay? Share the great things that the Lord has done for us. I'm mindful of, of the man that was, uh, uh, that was uh, demon-possessed in the tombs, demoniac. And the scripture says that after Jesus delivered him uh, from that demonic spirit, that those demonic spirits that came out of him, the Bible says, he says, go home and tell your friends and family members the great things that the Lord has done for you. In the same way, what is it that you and I are supposed to do? We're supposed to go and tell our friends and family members, neighbors, and everybody else about the great things that the Lord has done for us. Uh, because we go and we say that, that listen, and what he has done for us, 
he can also do for you. We don't go in, in arrogance. We don't go like we're so much better than anybody else. No, because we know where we come from. We know what it is to be in darkness. We know what it is to be lost, okay? We know what it is to be toe up from the flow up. Hallelujah. But God, who is rich in his mercy and his love, who has saved us. And so we share that because we're glad. Hallelujah. We're not mad. We're glad that the Lord has done this great thing for you and for me. And listen, I want to say too to churches out there, okay, if uh, uh, June is not quite here, still a little time, you say you want to call me and say, hey, hey, Bishop, can our church be a part of this too? Yeah, well, we'll send you a packet. We've actually got packets of information that we can send to you. Uh, I've got here on my desk a, a booklet that goes with this. Uh, uh, we've got some of these brochures that uh, will help get your people in the right place and do some training with them as well. And um, and just you can be a part of this. There are seven particular areas that we're going to be uh, uh, sharing in that's going to be powerful. And you know what? Every person, every person can share in these seven areas. Even if you're somebody who typically does, you know, you're a little leery, you're a little afraid. I don't know if I can do that, if I can talk to people. Well, listen, glory to God, as long as you're glad, then the reality is you can share this, okay? In the seven areas, you can share this because what we're gonna do is we're asking every person to reach out to 20 houses in their own neighborhood. So that may be 10 on one side of your street, 10 on another side of your street. Now, if you wanna reach more than that, fine. But we're saying reach out to at least, at least 10 uh, households. We've got some information uh, to give you that you can give to those folks, to your neighbors. We've got a, a letter written out from you to them that you can give to them. And, uh, and so, hey, we've got some door hangers you can put on the door and uh, everything is there. We'll, we'll talk for itself, okay? Uh, hey. We've got some information. You can reach out to co-workers, okay? And you know some co-workers, glory to God, uh, folks who uh, don't seem to be going to church, who, who need the Lord. You can do that as well. Family members as well. Other friends as well. And so what am I saying? All I'm saying is that, listen, and I've named at least four of those categories of the areas that we're going to be uh, reaching out to uh, mix amongst the seven. And so it's something that all of us can do. In fact, one of the problems sometimes is we make things hard that's not hard. Yeah, we make things hard that's not hard. And if you're excited about what the Lord has done for you, then the reality is that makes it even more the easier. And I don't know about you, I'm excited about what the Lord has done for me. I'm so excited that I'm glad. Hallelujah. And I know you are as well. Yeah, I'm so glad. Hallelujah. Uh, because he so loved the world. I'm so glad. So excited about what he's done. And so even more, it's not an obligation. It's a privilege to share what he's done for me with somebody else. And the little button, hey, the so glad button, is just a, a way to be able to share faith with other people that's not offensive that's not you know some hard sale uh you know not trying to beat anybody over the head none of those kind of things but just simply letting people know hey i'm tremendously glad i'm tremendously proud i'm, I'm happy about what he's done for me and you know what i know that's every one of you too and i think that's why all of this is so powerful is that when we share this uh, the reality is uh, we're sharing out of where we've come from. We're sharing our own experience. That's right. Because as Jesus says in the scripture here, he says, listen, we all like sheep have gone astray. We all like sheep have gone our own way. But the Lord, hallelujah. And the reality is there are always going to be people who are strained, wayward people, and the Lord loves you and me so much that he will leave the 99 and go look for that one that's lost. 
And this whole campaign of reaching out simply is looking for the one that is lost. There's two kind of people particularly we're looking for in the midst of this campaign. We're looking for people who don't know Jesus, the Savior, and Lord of their life. They've never invited the Lord into their life to forgive them of their sins, to save them. We're looking for that person. And if that's you, then you know what glory to God. Just receive him now. Just say, Jesus, come into my life, please. Forgive me for my sins, Master. Save me. And an earnest cry will connect you. So we're looking for people that have known, never known Jesus and would therefore be lost. Because if you don't know Jesus, you're lost. That's just a flag reality, okay? If you don't know Jesus, you're in the dark, okay? If you don't know Jesus, then you're demonically influenced. If you don't know Jesus, you don't have any divine help. All of that means to be lost. And so we're looking for people first who don't know Jesus and who would therefore be what? Lost. Hallelujah. And sometimes the first thing, in a sense, of coming out of your lostness is to recognize I'm lost. Yeah. It's kind of like driving in an area you don't recognize nothing and you get kept to come to the place. Wow, I'm lost. What am I going to do? Well, I'm going to turn this GPS on. I'm going to call somebody. I'm going to look for a man. You know, hey, you got to do something about it. So the first point, too, in terms of salvation is to recognize I'm lost and I need a savior. Yeah, I need a guide. I need someone to help me out of my lostness. That's what Jesus does. So the first thing is we're looking for people who recognize I'm lost. The second thing is we're looking for people that uh, aren't in the church. Okay? People who, you know, I, whatever reason. That, that maybe they never went to church. Uh, maybe they've been upset with the church. They're out of church now. Uh, they're not a part of a church. We're looking for those folks too. Because that's what I campaigned for. We're looking for the lost and we're looking for the unchurch. And so if either of those is you, if maybe both of those is you, we're looking for you. Hallelujah. And I want to just come right up. We would love to have you. If you are not in the church, we would love to have you in New Horizon. You say, well, I just don't like any churches. Well, you don't even know us. I guarantee if you come here, you'll find out one. We are a loving group of folks. We're not an arrogant group of people. We're not people who think we got it all together. No, we don't think that. We just think we're people who are tremendously helped and we're on our way. We're tremendously helped by Jesus Christ. Uh, we're people who are being tremendously changed by Jesus Christ. And we're on our way to heaven. That's who we are. And we want to say to you that you can be the same kind of person. And it doesn't matter what you have done in the past. Listen, he specializes in changing messed up people, sinners. So how do you know that? Because I was one of them. Hallelujah. And I still got some things he's working on me about, some things he's cleaning up for me. And that's all of us. We won't be perfect until we get to heaven. But boy, I'm so much better than I used to be. And that's what a Christian can say. Not perfect, but forgiven. And so listen, if you're lost and you don't know Jesus, we want you to know you can come out of your lostness. If you are a nun church, we want you to know, come on back. Either come in or come on back. If maybe you were hurt somewhere down the road by some people who didn't treat you fairly, I am so sorry that they did that to you. You didn't deserve that. Please forgive them and give yourself and the Lord another opportunity. Because some people hurt you. Jesus didn't hurt you. Okay? And he has me talking to you now because he wants you to come back and be blessed. Because, listen, you need to be a part of a good fellowship. Because it's going to bless you and your family. And so, listen, I want to invite you into New Horizon. The great thing about this is it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Now, because of this wonderful virtual thing, you can come and be a part of this wherever you are. If you're halfway close in the vicinity, we'd love to not only have you to watch, but to come down sometime and be with us uh, in person as well. And so we can love on you even more in person. But we're going to love you where you are. And that's what we're doing in this whole campaign. Not only New Horizon, but all of these other 18 churches, glory to God, who are with us and others who may come along the way. Because we want you to know that you can be like us so glad that the lord is doing a great and wonderful thing so glad 
that Jesus left the 99 and came and got me and got you. So glad, hallelujah, that the Lord is still doing great and wonderful things. That's right. Glory to God. And the scripture has a lot to say about us uh, uh, being glad. You know, the scripture says in Psalm 32, it says, Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, ye righteous. Shout for joy. <laughs> Hallelujah. In Psalm 90, O oh, satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. First Chronicles 16, Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness are in his places. Woo! And it just goes on and on and on because when you come to Jesus, you come into his presence, or even better, he comes into your presence. Hallelujah. He brings you to him and he comes to you. And he changes everything. Hallelujah. And you know what? You deserve the blessings of the Lord. That's right. I understand what it is sometimes to feel guilty, but Bishop, you don't know what I've done. You don't know how bad that is and all these things. Well, the reality is every one of us can say that. Because in the same way, you don't know all that I've done. You don't know how wretched I was at one particular point. How sinful. You don't know. No. See, because all you can see is what the Lord has done. Because I don't look like what it used to be. I don't look like the things that I did at one time because the Lord's healing, the Lord's mercy, the Lord's goodness and grace is touching me, helping me, blessing me. And so I don't look like that sinner anymore. Well, that same thing can be for you as well. And I guarantee you, if you, 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 you confess him, you give him your life, it is going to be just just awesome what he will do for you. So if you cried in sincerity and said, Lord, please forgive me for my sins. Jesus, cleanse me by your blood. Jesus, save me. Mm. If you say that in sincerity, I guarantee you it's going to change your world. It ain't just going to rock your world. It's going to change your world for the better. And then come on into the church. Come into a family of believers and be blessed by the fellowship. And so listen, do that. Do that. Pray that prayer if that's you. Put it in the chat. Let us know that you prayed that prayer. And because uh, we want to share with you the great things the Lord is doing for you. Because we want to rejoice. Now, now we got something else to be glad about. We're glad about you. Hallelujah. We're glad that God's doing a great and awesome thing in you also. Hallelujah. So we got all these wonderful things to be so glad about. And so, hey, if you're in New Horizon, uh, we're going to kick all this off uh, the first week of, uh, uh, of June. And so uh, get yourself ready uh, to, uh, uh, to receive. We're going to have buttons and everything for folks. We're going to lay all of this out for you. Uh, the uh, uh, coming up to the first week, so you, we, hey, we got a fifth Sunday coming up, but after that, we're going to start laying things out. You can get some of these things at fifth Sunday as well, and uh, we're going to go share this gospel. We're going to go share our testimony. We're going to go share uh, how glad we are about what the Lord is doing, and we're going to bring the harvest in. We're going to bring the harvest in, and you know what that harvest is going to do? It's going to change Grown folks, it's going to change a whole lot of children. It's going to make people's lives so much better. As I close, why not you? Come on. The Lord wants you to. Hallelujah. Two things. First, if uh, you know you're lost, you know you're not right with the Lord, the Lord wants you. He came for you. He so loved you. And by the way, he loves you while you're yet in sin, while you're yet in darkness. He loves you while you're yet a sinner. He doesn't wait till you get clean because you can't clean yourself. He's the one that cleanses you. But he loves you where you are. And he's saying, come to me. Come to me. He said, Bishop, I'm, I'm this, that. You, I don't care what you are. I don't care if you're a murderer. I don't care if you're a 
drug addict, dope fiend. I don't care if you're a prostitute. I don't care if you're in some sexual uh, whatever you're in, okay? Uh, got identity issues. I don't care what it is that you've got. I don't care if you're a thief or whatever. Listen, the Lord will change every person. Because when the Lord comes to your life, he changes you. So that that is what you, you used to be. Because you become a new creature. A new creation in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. He starts changing you to the place where all that stuff is gone. Hallelujah. He starts cleaning you up. And golly, the joy you have. My God, the joy. The passion. The so glad you have. Because he's blessing your life. And then, once again, we want folks out there who are not a part of a church. We want you in New Horizon Church. If you're watching, we want you to be a part of this church family, to be with us, to help us, to reach the world. And so uh, thank you for that. Listen, as, as I close, let me say, we, we, we've got a couple of big mission projects we're doing. We're completing a church building project in a refugee camp in, uh, in Malawi. And so uh, that's a part of what we're doing. That's the kind of things we're doing. So when you sow into uh, New Horizon, you sow into good ground of doing things like that. We're about to send a big offering out uh, off as well to India uh, because, uh, listen, uh, we want to touch people and help people in India too because the Lord loves folks in India too. Hey, in particular, as African American, he don't just love folks in Africa. He loves folks in India. He loves folks in Asia, in Europe, in South America, in Greenland, wherever, in the United States, where the Lord loves people. And so, uh, you know, we sow to be able to bring the lost to Jesus, to bring people into his church. And so we're asking you to join us, be with us. Uh, give your life to Christ if you haven't. Come on, be a part of the church, okay? And once again, if you want to be a part of the church, all you got to do is put it in the chat and say, listen, I want to be a part of this church. Um, you may be a backslide and say, Lord, forgive me for all the ugly and awful things I've done. I walked away from him. God, I'm so sorry about that now. Lord, receive me back. And he'll do that because repentance will, will, will change you. Hey, repent of it and come on and we'll receive you and start working with you and oh, your life is going to be so much better. Because Jesus comes to do what? To seek and to save that which was lost. Hallelujah. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. That amazing grace is available for you. One more time. If you want him, you know you, 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 you're not right with Jesus, then just cry, Jesus, come into my life. Come on, God. Forgive me for every sin, past, present, and future. Oh, God, forgive me for the awful stuff I've done. And if certain sins come, I would say, God, yeah, cover that with your blood. Cover that with your blood. Oh, God, wash me with your blood. And then just tell him, Jesus, save me. That's right. Come into my life. Forgive me for my sins. Jesus, save me me. If you pray that, now thank you, Lord. Thank you for coming. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for saving me. Oh, God, thank you that you've given me this wonderful chance. God, I praise you for it. Backslide. Hey, repent and ask him to receive you back. He will. For that person that you know, you've been letting your hurt and your pain have its way. Put that behind you and come on back into the church. We receive you in love. Put that in the chat. If you gave your life to Jesus, put that in the chat. If you decided to come and be a part of this church family, just say, listen, I, I just want to hang out. Hey, well, come on, hang out with us. Just put that. Listen, I don't, I'm not sure about uh, joining the church yet, but can I come hang out with you? Yeah, put that in the chat. We love to have you come hang out with us. Glory to God. Put it in the chat. Make that response. I want you to know that I love you in the Lord. I love every one of you in the Lord. You are loved in Jesus' name. 
At the end of this program, there are some uh, announcements that are going to come up. Be sure you wait on the announcements and watch the announcements, okay? Uh, if uh, you're there and you need to give your tithes and offerings, you're going to be given an opportunity. You're going to be told what to do as a part of that. Thank you for your gifts in advance. You sow in the good ground, you'll get a harvest, okay? You help make all this possible, so thank you. Well, until the next time, you saints of God, count it all joy. <laughs>